Here we go guys, another episode of Weeby Reptiles. Starting off with my babies again. They're doing really well. Got one little booger in the back. But everybody else is doing really great. They're getting really big. For only nine weeks old, they're a little over 30 grams. Maybe 30 grams each and between 10 to 11 inches each. Um, most of them, as you can see, are in a shed. The rest of them are still showing a lot of color. Doing really good. Um, still looking for people to purchase them. Haven't got a lot of people really hit me up, but I can understand because these guys aren't really as vibrant as uh, people anticipated them to be. I anticipated them to be a lot brighter too, but it's fine. Um, this is their care. They just got their salad. They're not really going nuts over eight. The beardy bites. I don't know if you guys are using these, but they go nuts over them. I don't know how they left any left over, but they'll get the rest by the end of the day. Next we got my girl, Sasha. Sasha Fierce. She's getting better. She's actually more adjusted now here. She was for a little while, just always wanting to get out the bin and not really, I guess, settling in well. But now she's doing well. She's eating normally. She's uh, not trying to dig out all the time. Like the door right now is open and she's not even trying to get out. But look how bright her orange her beard is compared to her bright, say, traded yellow in her body. It's crazy. So like the only two different colorations that are different in her are the immense yellows with the tiger striping and then the deep orange beard. It's kind of like two little blue marks on it. It's kind of nutty. It's weird. And here comes Zeus. Look at bearding up because he sees Stormy next to him. He's a little bugger. Look at that short snout. Everybody loves that big boy. He's got that super short snout. Oh, there's that focus. Isn't that a beautiful boy? Look at him. Yeah, buddy. Pretty, pretty boy. Super smooth leather, Italian leather bag. He's got like reds and yellows and... He has like a white tone over... See how on the side of his face you can see like that white over everything? That's basically how his whole body is. It has like a his coloration on him, but then he's got like this white layer over him that looks like he's always in shed, but he's not. It's a really beautiful dragon. I got him from uh, um, Jeff at Badass Beardy Dragons. He was actually produced by um, Blood Bank Dragons. He's a hypo, full hypo, Italian leather back smooth with a possibility to head trans. When you buy anything from. Uh, Blood Bank Dragon, there's always a possibility of head trans, head hypo, if it's not visible already. Because they usually do a lot of breeding with those two genetics a lot. I gotta close his up because he will come out. <laughs> Alright. Right now, Prince is in Brumation, so you guys can't see him. I don't want to disturb him, he's under his log. Next is. Um. Oh, wow. I can't. Xerxes. He's awesome. Don't get the focus. He's turned to a monster. He's 500. And, I think he's 520 grams a day. We're gonna find out in a few minutes. I'm gonna take him downstairs to this, and I'm gonna weigh him out in front of you guys. He might be lower than that because he did take a pretty, pretty big poop. <laughs> but we'll see. And here's Stormy. She was the one that I had that had a really bad RI after laying her clutch of eggs. But she's completely over the RI now. She's starting to get her weight back on. As you can see, a little bit of her tail's more filled in now. It was a lot more bonier and exposed before giving her consistent baths and feeding her now. She's doing a lot better. Can't wait for her to get nice and big. I don't think she's going to get too, too big. But whatever she does, she's really a pretty girl. Look at that, Look at that face. But yeah, before she would always stay dark all the time. Her tail would be super dark because she was always feeling bad. But now she's lightened up a lot more. See how she's kind of wrinkly? She's still trying to fill into the skin because she hasn't eaten in a while because of the RI. But now she's eating a lot better. Look at that belly now. Now it hangs because she's eating a lot more. She's eating good two, three times a day as I feed anybody else. We got a little guy Silas from All About Beardies. This guy is a, a blood, Belgian blood, Belgian blood, 66% head hypo, 
beautiful, dude. Like, this guy is so immensely red. His reds are like brick. Look, look how he widened up for me. because <laughs> This guy's awesome. And he's so young. Well, I thought he was young, but he's actually a pretty good age. He's already bearding up. Like, the little dude, I keep catching him outside. He's been running around the, the bedroom looking for the lady. He's actually bothering Stormy all the time. So I might actually stick Stormy and him together because they're both kind of small. But as long as I give them good good nutrition and everything like that for, to the babies and the eggs, they should still grow pretty big. And here we got Blaze. Blaze just came out of Beermation himself. That's why he's looking so scrawny. He was always such a beefy boy, but he went into sleep mode for a good while. He was like in and out of Burmation. It was the craziest Burmation I've ever went through with him. But uh, he's back. He's doing good. I don't want to put the camera in there with him because he's looking like he's giving me that stank eye. But look at him. He's looking pretty. Big old tail. Very, very saturated still. Okay. And here's my buddy. He's from Maelstrom Reptiles. Here's my rescue. This is Dino. My baby boy. He's come out really nice. He's got a real girthy tail to him, which is nice. So that means he's going to be a good big heavy dragon. He's not that old right now. He's pretty young and he's already got that good girth to him. Because like, I've been actually giving him like extra care and extra love because he came from a bad home. He came from... You know, just not where he was where he was raised before he wasn't really the greatest raising. So he had a pretty crappy start. And we got my little guy, Poseidon. I love this little guy. Wait until it focuses. He's in full body shed, but you see all that dark? It's actually like a dark purple lavender blue when he's in out of shed and he's not, you know, all stressed out and stuff. And he's got the beautiful light of colors. All those dark darks on his back turned to a lavender, purple, bluish color. That's why they're called citrus bluebacks. And here's my little guy, Puzzle. Hey, Puzzle. Puzzle's a little guy that came with a kink. Still somewhat there, but not really. Like, as he's getting older, it's going further and further away. It's getting better and better, healing better. But he's such a pretty boy. He's my hypotrans. Let me see. Leatherback, super smooth leatherback. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Focus. There he is. He's a beautiful boy. I love this little guy. Everybody's really anticipating his babies. They can't wait to see what he comes out with. He's always in shed, though. His head, his face, always in shed. What am I going to do to get this thing to focus? Come on. Uh, wow. Sorry, guys, I'm working with a really crappy phone. There it is. But, yeah, he's a big boy. What are you doing, buddy? He's always, like, dusty looking because he's always in shed type. And, uh, I put so much calcium on him, not him directly, but on all his food and feeders and stuff that because of that kink in his tail so he's always looking dusty and stuff so he's got basically calcium all over him all the time but that's them right there look at that such pretty baby boys they're not really that old so they're still okay to be around each other I'm probably going to separate them within the next week or so once I get done with my new rack system here's Bamba the pretty girl Bamba this is my baby girl Bamba I love my Bamba She's got the sweetest little face ever. Look at that girl. She is such a little lover. Look at that. Oh, I love when she comes out. She's doing really well. She's turned a leaf big time. She was stopped on the food for, on me for a little while, but now she's back. Look at the solid eyes on her. Her pads. Her back's looking great. She's in, I think, yep, shedding on her arms, but her back's fully done. Her tail's somewhat in shed. She's gorgeous. I love, love, love this girl. Her bloodlines come from uh, Where Dragons Dwell. She was produced by Brenda Gore. Same thing with Puzzles. They were both uh, from Dragons Dwell bloodlines. And uh, Brenda Gore was the breeder here in the United States that produced them. So I just didn't think it'd be worth me going to spend $200 for shipping on an animal that people are producing here in the United States. I can pay $40 for shipping. 
instead of $200 for shipping. And I get my dragon in one day instead of in two weeks sometimes. So I don't see no sense in buying overseas. And why am I going to give the money to them when we need it over here? Okay, and this guy right here, this is a spud. Just a, this is a maelstrom baby too. I had to uh, separate her because she was just not acting really well by herself. I mean, with somebody else, but she's not looking like she's too excited about being here by herself either. I might end up having to put her back in with another girl because she's just not happy anymore. She's always dark. At least before she wouldn't be so dark. She had that uh, booger in her nose. Excuse me, guys. I hate nose boogies. Oh, uh, oh, uh, got it. Oh, uh, I'll get it in a minute. Sorry. But yeah, this is Spudrella. She's a good girl. She just needs to stop being so bashful and shy. She got some really nice coloring on her. She, if she doesn't darken up, she's all this would be like a really bright orange. She isn't shed also. So that is kind of why she looks washed out as well. You can see in her head and her tail how it's different. They're rubbing into each other. You guys are a trip. Look at they stop doing what they're doing because they are caught. Huh. Right. What are you getting all fired up for? Look at her. She's like, arr, arr, she's going to kill somebody. Arr. Who are you going to bite, mama? Who are you going to? Oh, look, she wants my finger. Look at that. Oh, that's a good girl. Good girl. Wanna see that? Guys, look at that. Oh yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, mom, it's okay. Little by little, you just you just gotta pat him down, calm him down. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. She's probably scared of the camera. Something did it out of her face. See, calm it right down. And here's Miss Marigold. Marigold. She's looking pretty, 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 pretty. Already getting big, 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 too. <laughs> I like this pretty girl. She's got some crazy oranging. Amazing blue barring. She's only, I think, three or four months old. She's already a good size. Look at that. She glows. Now, a lot of that does have to do with the... There it is. A little more... A little realistic, but... A lot of that does have to do with the lighting. But, yeah, she is really, really bright. Look at that. Oh, there it goes. It's a beautiful girl. Alright. And now, I'm going to bring you guys downstairs. Because I don't think you got much time left. Grab the directions real quick. Alright. Oh. We got the ladies over here. We got BB. I mean, Rainbow, I'm sorry. Sapphire Red, super orange beard. This is the mother to the babies upstairs. She's a pretty girl. Look at those, that saturated beard of hers. So orange. Crazy. And here's Sarah. I've had to put her on a diet because everybody's telling me she's so fat. Because she's got them little fat paws underneath her arms, which I call titties, but everybody calls them fat. And we got Stella. Stella has now moved. Wait, hold on. No, that's not Stella. That's Sunkiss. Sorry, guys. Sunkiss finally came out of Bermation. Remember, guys, the last video I had her underneath the cushion because she was sleeping? Well, she's back out. She didn't lose too much weight, luckily. And uh, Stella, she moved up. She's in here with the girls now. Yeah, doing good, getting bright, fat, hefty. Uh, but I'm gonna do you guys a real quick one. Show you Xerxes. Here's his scale, and here's Xerxes. He's 522 grams today. And that is because he did take a poop. So, and today, uh, he's just shy of seven months old. He's like a week away, or two weeks away. Well, a week away, because he was born on May 1st. So, yeah, he's almost seven months old. 
and he's right now at 522 grams and with no nip at all he's 21 inches long alright guys um, my video time is a little about to run out so I'm gonna do a second phase and show you the rest of the girls in a minute my savannah monitor and my pac-man frog